The question of today is whether or not the 2018 midterm elections is inevitably going to be a blue wave. So first of all, we have to look at opinion polling amongst the Democratic and Republican parties and just take a look at how political pollsters have rated certain races that are going to be key in the balance of power in the 2018 midterms. So first of all, we have the 538 congressional generic ballot polls up, and right now Democrats aren't doing so well compared to where they were before. And previously, I said that 2018 would undoubtedly be a blue wave, but now it's starting to get a little bit different. Of course, there's still going to be some more Democratic turnout than we've seen in previous midterm years, but we're not going to see some excessive House turnover rates that we might have seen a couple months ago. If we go back to a month like J December um, and nearing January, the Democrats had nearly a 14-point um, lead. Um, that's considerable considering how many, how much it has narrowed down into around five point lead. And back then the Democrats were at an all time high. They were expected to win at least 240 seats, but now they're barely getting that 218 they need for a majority. And we're going to talk about that, why that's happening. Um, previously I talked in a video about why Democrats are losing in the generic ballot and pretty much the same reasons apply here. Uh, they keep focusing on the president whose approval rating is actually going up now. Um, and they need to start focusing on local issues. They've done that in special elections. They just need to start doing it on um, a congressional level, not just nationally branding, brand, brandishing Democrats as someone who's anti-Trump. Um, you know, a lot of these people in districts where they're going to need to pick up seats voted for the president in 2016. So it's going to be something that's going to be closely watched. Um, and the Democrats are going to need to change their style of campaigning. So first of all, is it inevitable um, for a blue wave? Yes. I mean, the Democrats at this point aren't going to lose um, majorly, and they're probably going to do, they're probably going to gain seats in both houses of Congress, but the margins are what matter. The amount they're going to win by or lose by is going to be very important. So let's say they don't take back the house, but they gain a couple seats that would be perceived as a very small, but sure blue wave. Um, you know, I think there's a difference between a blue wave and a blue tsunami, and a blue tsunami is what a lot of people are characterizing as a blue wave. A blue wave just means that Democrats have turned out more than they have in previous years and won a few seats. If we turn out to flipping over 40 seats, flipping, overturning the House, um, or even 24 seats overturning the House, the Democrats will be perceived as um, a, like blue tsunami, um, pretty much a lot of the change that's going to be needing needed for the Democrats. Um, they're probably going to get to it come the general election because this is going to be their most important midterm year in a very long time. And Democrats are going to need to start focusing on important issues. So let's take a look at the 2018 Senate ratings from Cook Political. Um, this is one of the more trusted uh, political pundit research centers and um, I trust it more than a couple other ones so I'm going to stick with this one throughout all the videos um, mainly except for when I'm talking about certain other pollsters so Cook Political gives the Republicans 48 seats to the Democrats 44 which is pretty considerable um, right now the states that went that have Republican incumbents that are toss-ups are Nevada Arizona and Tennessee um, Hillary Clinton only won one of them, but she was competitive in both um, Nevada and Arizona, whereas Donald Trump won in Wisconsin, Michigan, Pennsylvania, Ohio, Indiana, West Virginia, Missouri, Florida, North Dakota, and Montana, all where Democrats are currently incumbents. So the Democrats have 44 seats in their column. Um, you know, after the, the Ohio primary, the Democrats are looking more in the favor. Um, but, you know, right now, the Democrats really need to focus on certain states that are going to be vital to their win. So... A Democratic wave, probably, they're probably going to carry Florida, to be completely honest with you. Florida will probably be in their column, um, West Virginia included as well. But um, North Dakota and, you know, North Dakota, Missouri, Tennessee, Indiana, Arizona, and Nevada are going to be pure toss-ups. And right now, the Democrats have 46 seats, and they're going to start looking to areas. They're going to look to Indiana, North, North Dakota, Missouri, Tennessee, Arizona, and Nevada, where Republicans think they are pretty competitive in. So, um, right now, a blue wave is probably going to happen, but again, the numbers they're going to win by or lose by are going to be extremely important, and as of right now, the Democrats are probably um, not so, they're probably not going to take back the Senate. Um, it'll probably be a 50-50 tie as of today. Um, you know, I think states like Missouri and Tennessee, these are going to be states that are going to be closely watched, but I would give Tennessee... Um, to the Republican very narrowly, but I would give Arizona and Nevada to the Democrats. So right now we finish off this with the exact same Senate makeup, just a, f a couple states um, uh, mixing up and just overturning for each political party. But I pretty much finish it off at 49 to 51. When we're talking about the House, the Democrats have a much better standing here. A blue wave is probably going to happen in the House more than anything else. It probably won't happen in the Senate overwhelmingly, but in the House we could see a lot of turnover. 
And at this point in time, the Democrats are at a point where even if they win 6% nationally, they're not going to win back the House, but they're definitely going to gain a couple seats. You know, the predicted market has an expectation of over 80 seats overturned. It doesn't mean from Democrat to Republican, but um, the fact that they're expecting that many seats to be overturned by around 80% compared to the rest of the betting odds, you know, that's pretty significant. So Cook Political gives the Republicans 211 seats, only seven away from a majority. So keep in mind, this is going to be an uphill climb for Democrats just based off gerrymandering and all previous election history, but it is possible for them to do so. And the final topic I'm going to talk about is the governor races, where the Democrats are not at a good standing. First of all, the GOP does amazing on local and state issues and talking about local state elections because they don't really reflect what's happening in the presidency. Um, Unless it's for the GOP. So the Democrats right now are not a good standing when it comes to the governor elections, but they could definitely turn it around. So as of right now, I see the Democrats um, flipping a couple states. Just disregard the margins. I'm just going to fill it in real quickly so we can talk about it. And, you know, Connecticut, I see going to the Republicans, Nevada, I'll see blue, and I'll see Alaska red. So, as of right now, I give the Democrats um, 21 seats and the Republicans 29, not seats, sorry, governorships. Um, but, yeah, so these gubernatorial elections are going to be very close. They're going to be talked about a lot, but they're not going to be vital to talking about how the president performs overall and how Republicans perform overall. So just to recap, the Democrats, um, there probably is going to be a blue wave. It is at this point inevitable, but uh, the margins are what matters, and the numbers they they win by are going to matter. You can have a blue wave but still lose the House. It's very, it's probably um, going to happen if the Democrats continue at this down, downward spiral. But um, as of right now, a blue wave is inevitable, but um, again, keep focusing on the numbers and what the Democrats can win or lose by. So thank you guys for watching this video. Comment down suggestions below, and I'll see you all tomorrow.